Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwao. The vehicle at uh, the Driving Vehicle Licensing Authority, DVLA, is calling for the relocation of the offices of the Customs Division across the country. Currently, the Customs Division shares an office space with the DVLA, a situation that is said to be causing congestion and hampering operations. There is more in this report by Fred Duho. Friday evening, they told us we'll be working on it over the weekend. So Monday morning, when we come, our documents should be ready. We came here this morning, 8 o'clock. It's, according to my call, about almost 11 o'clock. The papers are not out. We are still stranded here. New people are coming with their documents. And then nobody is telling anybody anything. They are telling us just to form a queue. Form a queue. Then people bring in their new registration forms. And the, those who are coming to collect it are supposed to be in the same queue. How? This is one of many car owners lamenting delays at the Customs Vehicle Authentication Desk. Many have described the process as cumbersome. Uh, the problem is how to find the document because it's not done with names or numbers. So when you go, you have to go through the whole papers, search for yours, and then they can sign it for you. Meanwhile, the head of vehicles registration and transfer for DVLA 37 branch, Samo Obin told Joy Business, though they are overwhelmed by the numbers, efforts have been put in place to ensure every customer is served. I have been overwhelmed, actually. I don't know why Ghanaians always have to wait. Some people, some people buy, get their car, they buy their car somewhere last year, maybe in July, and they will, they will not register the car, they will keep on driving this car. When we resume the new year, when we resume the new year, the first week, they all troop up here. He further indicated that vehicle owners who want customized number plates will be required to pay an extra 5,000 CDs aside the standard rates, while special number plates will attract an additional 500 CDs. You are supposed to pay 5,000 plus, the, the, I mean the customized number. You are supposed to pay 5,000 plus, apart from in addition to the registration, the number registration, because you have to register the car first and get a regular number before you you make, uh, I mean you, you go on to do the customized number. The public relations manager Francis Asamuatufo also indicated nine satellite offices which hitherto were not allowed to register vehicles have been given a green light across the country in order to lessen the burden on vehicle owners. Having, having learned lessons from the past, management met and then the, we strategize to help deal with the issue. One is about the the creation of the new prefixes or, or giving the power to other stations to also register. Fred DeHose reports for Joy Business. Now, Tema could be the first city to benefit from the Ghana Smart Cities project. The project being undertaken by Celtel Networks and its partners is taking care of the installation of the nationwide Wi-Fi infrastructure. The partner companies will also be providing affordable smart devices so that homeowners can stay connected. Founder and executive chairman of Celtel Networks, Dr. Prince Kofi Kujasin, has been speaking to Joy Business about some of the cities being considered for the initial rollout of the project. We have uh, Takradi. You have Takradi. Now Takradi. we'll we go to Gendi. You have Sekendi. We have, uh, you know, Kaswa. We have, uh, you know, uh, Mapurusi. Where's Mapurusi? Where's Mapurusi? Mapurusi. The vice president's area. Is that, is that his area? Yes, okay, yes, we yes. Have, we West Mapurusi. There are projects going there. We have Gonja East. Okay, you know, you go to the Gonja land. That yes. is the former president, John Mohammed Zaria. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, the Gonja land. And then you have the Holy City, have a uh, oh, okay. <laughs> profile that we have Hawaii. Hawaii. And then we have OT, we have, uh, you know, uh, this thing. But a major, major smart city, which will be the first is Tema. Tema is the first place you're looking at. Yeah. When will they come, uh, will they go live? Oh, we are looking at between our second quarter next year. Second quarter next yeah, year, yeah. Tema will go live, yeah, yeah, yeah. which means that we'll begin the rollout of yeah, the project. Yeah, yeah. You know, so from Tema we'll move where? Yeah. Okay, we have. Uh, if you look at the project, we have three teams. We have Volta Region and Greater Accra. Okay. You know, uh, and then uh, now if you go to Adenta, uh, you know, as, uh, area, and you look at uh, University of Ghana, and then you look at uh, Bemakam, they fall under three municipalities. Municipalities. Okay. You know, like the Kotipon, which has Bemakam, the University of Ghana at uh, you know La Quantanang, Quantanang and Adenta, you know, for so those enclaves who are three are huge major because our airport is there, is within our it. Bemakam is there, yes. the University of Ghana is there. So these enclaves 
uh, one of the major areas, you know. In so from Tema, you come to this? Yeah, so three. from our office, it's even easier to go by land of sight to cover all those areas. All those areas. Yeah, and then we have a teaching man, we have Kitampo. You know, uh, if you go to the Kitampo, the chairman, there's University of uh, Health and Health. We have only about 65,000 students, you know, in other distant learning. The full interview is airing in about uh, 20 minutes on the marketplace. Do uh, make a date. My name is Daryl Kwao. Sports is up next. Do stay tuned.